word problems. In this video, we will answer some word problems that will require us to work on fractions, on uh, basic arithmetic operations, and how we use the order of operations. Exercise 1.8 Applications Two landscapers are working on the front garden of a hotel. In one day, the first landscaper finished two-fifths of the job. The second finished one-third of the job. How much of the job is not yet done? Let us say this polygon represents the front garden of the hotel. So the first landscaper finished two-fifths of the job. The second landscaper finished one-third of the job. So, the part of the job that is not yet done is this one. What is the value of x? So, the value of x is equal to 1 whole minus the sum of 2 fifths and 1 third. So, we will take away 2 fifths and 1 third from 1 whole. And that is the part of the job that is not yet done. The part of the job that was done in, uh, in the first day is 11 over 15. So we will remove that from 1. And the answer is 4 over 15. You know what? When I see something like this, 1 minus 11 over 15, what I do is I write 1 as 15 over 15. And so it's easy to do the subtraction because you have common denominator. You will just copy it, and then 15 minus 11 is 4. The outer diameter of a pipe is 4 and 4 over 7 centimeters long. The wall's thickness is 1 third centimeter thick. Find the inside diameter of the pipe. So let's say, for example, this is the cross-section of the pipe. We are looking into the pipe. The diameter is this one. It's the length of the line segment that intersects the circle and a line segment that passes through the center of the circle. And this is 4 and 4 over 7 centimeters long. The thickness of this pipe is one-third, one-third centimeter. Find the inside diameter of the pipe. So this is the length that we must look for. That is the inside diameter of the pipe. So how do we get that? How do we get this inside diameter? So what we shall do is we will take away one-third, one-third from, from the length of the outer diameter. But usually that is where most students get it wrong, okay? Because you will not just take away one-third, okay? You will take away two one-thirds. X is equal to the length of the outer diameter minus two times the thickness of the pipe. And two times one-third centimeter is just two over three centimeters. Okay, so let us work on this. Subtraction. So we can write 4 and 4 over 7 as 32 over 7. And where did uh, 32 over 7 come from? It came from this. 7 times 4 is 28 plus 4 is 32. Okay, so how do we simplify this? So the LCD here is 21. You know, some students would do it this way. They already know it's 21. And so 21 divided by 7 is 3 times 32. That's fine. That's fine. You can do it in that way. But me, I prefer to do it this way. Okay? So I know that the LCD is 21. So I will have to multiply. I have to multiply this by 3 over 3. That's just 1. Okay? 
We have a common denominator, 21, so it's going to be 96 minus 14 over 21. And 96 minus 14 is 82. And 82 divided by 21, let us write that in mixed number form. That is equal to 3 and 19 over 21 centimeters. Okay, let us show it. So how many 21 do we have in 82? We have 3. So this is equal to 3 and 19 over 21. Josephine can cover a distance of three and and a half kilometers in one half hours of walking. How far can Josephine walk in one and one fourth hours? We need some information about the speed. What is the distance that Josephine can cover in one hour? Usually it's written as kph, kilometers per hour. And you can easily get that from what's given. Look at this. So Josephine can walk a distance of three and a half kilometers in one half hour of walking. So that means in one hour, in one hour, she can cover a distance of three and one half times two. And that is equal to seven kilometers. So right away, you can see here that her, her speed is... 7 kilometers per hour, okay? But let us show that. Let us show that using fractions. So the speed is equal to what she can cover divided by the, the length of time that she took to cover the distance, okay? So D over T. So it's going to be 3 and 1 half kilometers divided by 1 half hour. This is the same as 7 halves times 2. So division can be written in terms of multiplication. But you will multiply it by the reciprocal of your divisor. The reciprocal of one half is two. So two divided by two is one. So we are left with seven kilometers per hour. So how far can Josephine walk in one and one fourth hours? So that's going to be D is equal to her speed in walking times time. So 7 kilometers per hour times the number of hours she spent walking. Okay, where did this come from? It came from this. 4 times 1 is 4 plus 1 is 5. And this is equal to 35 over 4 kilometers or 8 and 3 fourths kilometers.